we should move on probably to our movies because we're watching. Oh, yeah. Well, 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 well I, I, from last week, you'd watch The Batman and your mm-hmm. Sterling review. I was like, fuck, I'm going to go and watch The Batman. Yeah. So so we should talk about The Batman first and then we'll right. talk about the, the movie that we decided to review, right, which okay. is also yeah. a Batman. Yeah. Batman dies! <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. we should go. This is going to be spoiler filled, especially regarding the Batman, because yeah, I want yeah. to talk about it. <laughs> so, I, I, like, I think fucking spoiler alert. It's yeah, spoiler alert. I think we should briefly go over it spoiler free if possible, which we won't okay. be able to, but still. <laughs> and like okay. just get the, the basically the premise of the film, Batman is in his second year of doing Batman stuff. He's Batman and about being the Batman. And he's just <laughs> a proper Batman, right? Yeah. And then a serial killer <laughs> who isn't the Batman does the Riddler stuff. And the Batman needs to find him with the help of Jim Gordon, who is not the Batman. So that's 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 it. Now we'll talk spoilers. How fucking good's that first twenty minutes though? <laughs> Nick. Once the one second though. I'll, I'll... <laughs> I, I need, you see I need, words. You see I things. Need, uh, no, no. I need to. I need to go and get the trailer now and just have that description play <laughs> over the top of the trailer. It's just amazing. Yeah, man, he's Batman. The Batman about. And he's, sec- he's in his second year of Batman, and so he's really Batman. <laughs> Batman, <laughs> like, you know what just, I mean? But he's on the ground, beautiful. Batman. But yeah, man, like. The sound design for that film, like I think we should try yeah. and go through it like in order out of this shit that happens, but we won't because we're just both crazy. No. We'll just be like this bit though. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm too ADHD yeah. for that, so like, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like the first twenty minutes of that film where he's just talking, yeah. and then mm-hmm. he's like the voiceover was yeah, superb. Yeah. Like him Man, narrating, it was just like it was such fantastic. a good vibe, wasn't it? it was like... And then the 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 cinematography, the way it showed fear in mm-hmm. other people who are committing the crimes, and then they were just looking. That was superb darkness. as well. That looking, kid, um, that mask as well, like the kind of green pumpkin mask that the kid had on. Yeah. That just looked amazing. I felt like I was watching like an old Halloween film or something yeah. at the start. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I love it. Because obviously the, the intro is set obviously at Halloween. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then, like I said, that that whole that whole vibe of like, oh, they think I am, the sh- I'm in the shadows. Yeah, you know, like, and then he's like, like I but am I am the shadow. Yeah. <laughs> so and like, cool. they were just looking into the darkness and there was, there was no sound. And then when he was there, I mean, the sound yeah. of his boots alone, I was like, holy yeah. fuck, he's not coming <laughs> yeah. to play like. The thing is, though, it's like Batman's obviously like a ninja. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh-huh. Like, like that's one of his, like, he's kind of the tropes in the comic is that, yeah. you know, he's he's the per- he's perfect at just about everything. Well, he has it, massive yeah. everything. So it's quite funny to be like massively loud clump. Yeah, uh-huh. like, but that's like, the thing I loved about it, right? Because he, he doesn't even call himself Batman. He's called Vengeance. That's his yeah. name. So he yeah. says, I'm vengeance, because that it actually means that. So he's not yeah. actually physically Batman yet, because he makes yeah. so many mistakes in the movie. And I mean, obviously, yeah. we'll, we'll go over them. But I, I like that. When he attacks those thugs and the, yeah. the boots and the music kicks in and then he comes out, like, I had goosebumps. I was actually yeah. scared. And he's not even a buff dude, Pattinson. Like, when nah. he takes his, like, he's got his shirt off in one of the scenes. Yeah. I'm like, he didn't exercise for this. He's just, <laughs> did he? Yeah. But yeah. again, in the suit, though, I was like, Jesus Christ! Like I mean, this he was guy still pretty fit. Was... He was still pretty lean. Like he was just, he's yeah, just. I mean, he's like he lean, though, isn't he? Yeah, he's just one of those he's people who's like though. got pecs just for being skinny. Do you know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? Like, I mean, I think they would have shaped him up. Obviously, joking aside. Yeah. But like when he come out of the shadows and he beats all those people up, like I just, I was like, holy crap! Like I knew straight away then. I was like, this is going to be an amazing Batman film. Yeah. And that, and then it just, it just kept getting better and better and better. <laughs> and it, I, it I loved everything scary. from like. Uh, the I loved the outfits. I loved how gothic it was. Like there's there's a bit where like he comes downstairs to see like and he's speaking to Alfred and he's wearing just like some jogging bottoms and a black t-shirt and it has yeah. like a logo on, but the logo is black, so it just kind of shimmers in the shot. He's basically an emo. Like yeah, got, oh yeah, oh, he he is, he's like... got like emo hair and he like wears alternative gear, you know yeah. what I mean? Oh, for and sure. like so does Catwoman. Catwoman, like obviously the first time you see Zoe Kravitz, like, oh Jesus. I, I actually said to a lot of you like my girlfriend, I was like. Halle Berry is objectively fucking gorgeous, and Zoe yeah. Kravis makes her look like shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so like, she's like Halle Berry on paper, you would still say, "Oh, she's a 10. Yeah, and yeah. Zoe Kravis, I'm like, "Wow, well, she's eleven then." No, <laughs> like, she's definitely eleven. Like, I mean, like... she, she, she was. I, I do not have a problem with any single person in that film. I think everyone no. played that part she's really, really well. She's fantastic as Catwoman, yeah. and like, I, I the love story, the, I love the, um, the costume where it was like. The, there wasn't a mask as much as it was just like yeah. a, a crude balaclava. You know? oh, well, that was it, yeah. It was <laughs> with was like just... the pointy little ears. But yeah. um yeah, I mean, 
hands down, like, I think his suit, the Batman suit, is fantastic. It's got that homemade kind of feel to it as well. Like, yeah. it's it's not like where, um, what's his name? I've got his pretty name now. A Batfleck where it's like mm-hmm. he's, he's put money into it and he's like this rich billionaire. Yeah. Although he is, he, mm-hmm. he's not focused on that. Like, he doesn't care if he lives or dies. All he wants well, is, is to nobody to feel how he felt that day. Yeah. And you can see that even in his Bruce Wayne because he's so depressed. He, he's so depressed and he doesn't, doesn't care want, about money yeah. at all. He, he doesn't, doesn't want to give fake a shit about anything. any of that. He just the, o- he, the only bit of money kind of flashery that you saw in the entire film was he goes to a funeral and he happens to just be driving in a very nice, like oh, a well, yeah. clearly expensive classic that's car. Yeah. Like that's the only bit of flashery. The rest of it, there's n- there's no billionaire Bruce Wayne, really. Yeah. Well, that's Do you know it, what yeah. I mean? Like there's nothing that like alludes to that, like not in his like persona or his clothing or no. that's what I really lo- loved about the outfits because the costumes are so dark. Um I just love this rendition of Gotham. Like, I just thought, yeah. like, it just felt like Gotham. Like, I felt like <laughs> it didn't feel like it will have, we haven't had Gotham since like the nineties Batman's. Yeah. Even like this, even like the terrible nineties Batman's did a better job of Gotham than the Dark Knight trilogy. Which I love yeah. the Dark Knight trilogy, but Same. they felt like anywhere USA. Like, well, that's it. They yeah. just felt like it was like, is this New York? Is this Chicago? It just could uh-huh. be like anywhere in the US. Where it's like this felt like Gotham. It felt it dirty and it was horrible, and, and, and you just didn't want to like, be there. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It was just like, and the, the soundtrack, the music, like just everything about punctuated that every scene. Yeah, and every scene. Motorbike. Yeah. Just when he's not Batman and he's just driving about on his motorbike. Cool, it's that's still cool, like, the whole it is, isn't it? The whole time. Like it's, it's just, just like, yeah. And I, I, obviously he's not in the costume, but at the same time, he's, he's just, he's fo- solely focused on actually being the Batman. Everything he yeah. does, besides one scene where he visits, um, is it Falcone or, no, not it's not Carmine Falcone. I forgot, yeah, I forgot no. the, other, the other mobster. It is um, Falcone, right? Or, it, or you mean is. when he's out of costume, when he yeah. goes to speak to Falcone at the end? Yeah, it is Falcone, Falcone tells him. He tells yeah. him that it's the other guy, isn't it? Yeah. Uh-huh. Right. Maroni or something that? like that. Yeah, that's he's like it, saying yeah. it was Maroni or whatever. Like, that's the only time he's on Bruce Wayne business, if that makes yeah. sense. Like, the rest yeah. of the time, it's all Batman. And mm. I think having a good villain like the Riddler makes the Batman even better. Because, like, I, I, I don't know if, if this is true, but when I left the cinema, I was like, this is the first time that the, the, the villain actually won. Because he did, yeah. because he he executed his plan yeah. perfectly. He got every step of the plan worked. Yeah, like, whereas he, I, I've seen a post that don't. like wrapped it up quite nicely. It's like he probably has the highest death count of any oh, Batman sure. film in yeah. cinema history. Yeah. Like because sure. obviously spoilers. Like well, obviously this is all spoilers. Yeah. But like when he floods the city, mm-hmm. it's just like yeah, how many people must have died then? You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I the scenes see where you're just seeing people taking away, and I didn't, I didn't think it was happening. No. Like I just, thought, I thought when he caught him, it was game over. Mm-hmm. I thought he knew he was because he kept going Bruce Wayne. I thought, yeah. oh, he fucking knows, but he didn't. He's the only one who got away. I didn't even thought, believe it. I didn't even believe it when the explosions start happening. I thought this is a dream sequence or something. Yeah. Like uh-huh. I was like, he's gonna wake up and he's like, no, I got him, sort of thing. Yeah. Like and it uh-huh. was like, no, it's happening. Yeah, man. And like the thing that I like was the Riddler actually thought the Batman was on his side and they were working together. Like he yeah. was the brawn and, and, and the Riddler was the brains. Well, whereas Riddler, yeah. uh, Riddler? That's, that's an Riddler. amalgamation of the two. <laughs> yeah, they, I, I love I, it, I yeah. shit them, I shit them. Yeah. Like, they come together. That's what call this episode, the Riddler. The Riddler, yeah. But yeah, like, he thought they were working together to, like, weed out all the rats of Gotham and then yeah. he kept saying Bruce Wayne I thought well he obviously knows but he, he does he didn't f- figure that out and yeah. again I, I think that's that's good because with like the Spider-Man movies like everybody knew he was Spider-Man straight away and it's just like well yeah there's no mystery there he's got nothing to protect if everybody knows do you know what I mean yeah so I like that nobody knows yet I mean obviously down the line in Batman 9 or whatever people are gonna know <laughs> yeah. but it's it's his secret that was and- that was, that was the thing i felt afterwards afterwards obviously i felt like this was amazing blah 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 like you know like the normal kind of feelings of this was like i feel like finally it's a really fucking good batman like i was yeah. like oh finally oh, a really good fuck like like when i say really good a fucking brilliant batman i was yeah. like oh wow i really like i had no hopes for robert patterson you know what i mean like i really no. just like thought until obviously last week when you told us like i, I literally was like i don't know I don't yeah. know, you know what I mean? I, did, I didn't think, and like now I'm like, oh, he's my Batman. I yeah. love Ben Affleck, like genuinely. Like mm-hmm. I, I, I love, I love a lot of Ben Affleck's work. Like, um, what, what's what's the um oh, film called? I've the got town. fucking 
I love the the town's one of my all time yeah. favorite films as well. Um, and what's the one where he's fucking autistic and he's like, um, oh yeah, the, uh, the accountant, well. the accountant, the accountant. And, but yeah, you're right. The town, like I say, I love I love Ben Affleck and I love a lot of his work and I love I loved him as Batman, even though we never got I think a good enough. Yeah. I don't think mm-hmm. he got an, a good enough go of it, but. I was just like, oh, Robert Pattinson's my Batman. <laughs> yeah, oh, he is. <laughs> like, he is I'm like, him. sorry, 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 back. Like, I've got to, I, I've always defended him and said, no, yeah. like, he's great, man. He's uh-huh. great. Now, now, now I'm just like, no. Yeah, I mean, it. don't get us wrong. I, I don't hate anything that happened before. Like, I'm not one of those people who's yeah. like, oh, well, this is my Batman, so I don't like anything else. Oh, I love God, the yeah, Dark Knight yeah. trilogy. I love the early Batman. I love Batman and yeah. Robin. I don't think yeah. there's a bad Batman movie. I mean, objectively, yeah. that terrible, like Batman and Robin, <laughs> is yeah. terrible. But I've still got yeah. time for it, like I said in the last yeah. episode. Um, But Robert Pattinson, he just embodied everything about the Batman, like everyone's mm-hmm. argument is, well, we, we, he wasn't Playboy Bruce Wayne, but he's not there yet. He's in year yeah. two of the Batman and he's solely focused on that. I mean, like you, you know yourself, when you get fixated on something, that's all you want to do. And yeah. that's all he wanted to do. He just wanted mm-hmm. to be the Batman. He, he he slept through the day. He literally became the yeah. Batman. He had to wear glasses through the day because it was so bright. You know what I mean? yeah, he I says, he says, doesn't he? He's like saying, yeah. like, I'm, like, I've become a night owl. Like, yeah, like, because I've he's... been doing nights for two years. Like, yeah, well, he, he <laughs> it's has. True. And you one of the mean? one of the biggest things I love about it is he makes mistakes because we'll yeah. always get like in Batman Begins, he pretty much never made any mistakes. In the yeah. Dark Knight, the same. In Dark Knight Rides, every Batman, the like with Batman Begins aside, that peak Batman in every one, yeah. so they're that perfect, this perfect machine. Whereas Robert Pattinson's Batman, he he gets shot a lot. You know what I mean? Yeah, Obviously, he does, he's wearing yeah. the bulletproof stuff, and he just runs yeah, at them. But he does, like a yeah. Terminator in that respect. Like yeah. he just doesn't care about himself enough. He just wants to put the yeah. bad guys down. And I love that, like when he does the wingsuit and he like he falls. And I love that as well. Yeah. I love that. Like it felt it felt like such a more such more of a practical Batman than yeah, that's it. Like yeah. a fantastical Batman, which was great. Like like when the he's. They use like it's a is it a disused building they use where the bat signal is, um, I think so. Yeah, uh-huh. you know, like I don't think it's the like, top of Gotham PD. I don't yeah, it's think, not. Yeah, yeah it's de- yeah, it's definitely not because the police are like against them on this. Yeah. So it's, just, it's like this kind of derelict building. Um, and there's a scene where I think it's near the end when he he like literally runs down the side, like yeah. basically t- attaches a bit of rope and just runs down the side of the building. Mm-hmm. And I like that because in another Batman game, he would either just disappear. Yeah. Or uh, sorry, not a Batman game, a Batman uh, movie, film or yeah. game. Even, but yeah. he would, he would, he would disappear, or he would glide off. <laughs> Do you know yeah, I mean? well, that's it. And yeah. like I say, the, like I say, the, the scene with the the wingsuit. Once again, he fucks up as well. So not yeah. only does is the wingsuit badass as fuck, but it was and it was practical because it was like, oh, he puts a wingsuit on mm-hmm. and like leaves with a wingsuit. He doesn't just glide away with his cape. But well, then obviously it. he fucks up the landing because he pulls yeah. his parachute and it gets caught under a bridge and it yeah has a well, brutal it, yeah. landing. And then you kind of see him like. Walk away, cobble so away, like, yeah. Oh, fuck, I'm yeah. fucked. You well, know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. Like, well, you would be fucked. It's so definitely, not. definitely. <laughs> you know? Yeah, you know I mean? and that—that's one of the things I like about it because I, 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 you know, like origin stories. I know, like obviously, seeing his parents get shot is played out, but I love an origin story. To the fact yeah. that he's learning to be Batman, I'd love it. Like if we got a TV show of the Batman, and it was like the first year when he was j- making loads of mistakes and yeah. stuff that, like, um. I would, I would love that. I always have loved that kind of thing. Like with a flash, I love the flash show yeah. the first season because again, he's learning and he, he's making mistakes and stuff. And I think that mm-hmm. makes them more human and you care about them more. Whereas like, I would like to say like some of the practical, like building of some of the things that he needs. So I'd like him to like have a situation where he could have done with a wingsuit, but he didn't have one. So he had to do something else to get out of the situation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he goes, I need a wingsuit. Yeah. Or, so he's learning like, all the time. Yeah, yeah. Like he doesn't have the grappling hook yet. And he's like, I could do with a grappling hook. Yeah, like definitely. that would be great to get out of this situation. So 100%. then you see him create it and like, you know what I mean? Because yeah, you've definitely. had like we've had like in the Dark Knight trilogy, we've had like montages of him building stuff, like montages of him making um, batarangs and stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But it'd be cool to say like say a bit more like why why do you need a batarang? You know? Yeah, well that's <laughs> it. Yeah, well that's it. So like, what yeah. situation is causing it? Go, well, I could do with some of these on. Yeah, hand. well that's <laughs> it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know what I mean? I get that. Not. 
rather, rather than like I've already got my bat shark repellent. I've got it yeah. ready at the go. Like you want to see him get situation. eaten by a shark nearly? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Then, like, well, I want to see him lose a leg involved. first and be like, yeah, well, I should get it. some bat shark repellent. Bat shark <laughs> get repellent. Get my leg back. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it just grows, it grows back. It grows now, a new leg. The yeah. one thing that made me laugh in the cinema, and now it's obviously not a funny film, but Wayne Tower is shaped like the bat cowl. Have you noticed? <laughs> no, I didn't know. Like, Wayne it's... Tower, it's got like, <laughs> yeah. like that. Oh, that's hilarious. So I, didn't so, that, I was that. like, I would yeah. know Bruce Wayne as Batman immediately, simply for the fact that I was like, wait a minute, that looks a lot like Batman's yeah. cowl. Do you know what I mean? And I laughed. Yeah. And obviously, people would have been like, why is he laughing? It was just a shot of a building. But to me, I was just like, that's ridiculous, yeah. man. Like, of all the seriousness, that one thing, I was like, nah, that's a bit silly. But <laughs> yeah. overall, man, it's just, it's my favorite Batman film, and I can't wait. It's coming to HBO Max or something in like 40 days. So I'm going to, yeah. So oh, in well. 40 days' time, I, I'm, I'm going to watch it again. I'm going to yeah. VPN it and watch it again and sit So the bit, the bit that I have to dog. talk about that, like, blew me mind. Yeah. Um, Which I, did, I don't know why it did, but is is just the, is the first scene with the car. So yeah, when you man. finally say the Batmobile, the Batmobile's like a bit away from him, and it's like maybe what a hundred meters away from Penguin, and it starts revving, mm-hmm. and obviously it has like a big fucking flame exhaust. But you yeah. don't say the exhaust first of all, but the exhaust's obviously lit up, so there's just like a blue light emitting from the back of the Batmobile yeah. front on, and I just remember like getting chills, yeah, and then man. that whole thing. Like I was watching it in the, um, the IMAX screen as well, so like the seats were vibrating and everything and I, it was just like i don't know how to describe it it's just like pure dopamine it was yeah, just like, like oh that's the i was stuff. just like i like sat up and i was just like oh my god this is amazing. Yeah. and then just like obviously the sound of it and the crackling of the fucking the exhaust and everything and what i loved about it as well is because like in terms of comics i haven't read a lot of the comics like i've read like a lot of the classics like kill and joke and stuff like that yeah but i did read quite a lot of year one of nightwing um uh-huh. Because what one of the things I, I liked about Nightwing, much like Sony PlayStations, I thought Nightwing's really cool. Yeah. Um. And and yeah. One and one of the things that he does is obviously he's uh, he's the Batman of Bloodhaven, which is yeah. just a different town, an alternate Gotham, Gotham essentially. Was yeah. his Batmobile? He was just like, well, I can it look like the Batmobile. He's like, I want it to be a powerful car. That's a Batmobile on everything kind of but appearance. Yeah. I like. I want it to be a car that someone doesn't look at twice. Yeah if it drives past them in the street, you know what I mean? And I felt like that's what this Batmobile was. I was like, oh, it's, yeah. just a muscle, it's just a muscle car. Well, that's it, yeah. And, and like, for bad, me, yeah. it's like possibly my favourite Batmobile since the it's Tumblr, me. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, the, oh, yeah, it was sure. just like, it was just like, oh, it's just, it's nothing ridiculous. There's nothing bat-esque yeah. about it. It's just well, it. a it's badass just... fucking car. I think, obviously, <laughs> yeah, as he progresses, I think it will evolve and change. But I do yeah. think, again, for the Batman he is, it's so cool. Uh, like, him moving around on the bike, it, again, yeah. was so badass. Like even yeah, out was, of the suit, yeah. it was. And the introduction of the car, it was like a monster. The car, like it was like <laughs> it was. Yeah. It was like it was alive itself, and it was, it was quite yeah. scary. And I, I, yeah. I think it was great. But yeah, um, Penguin as well. Colin Farrell, he oh acted my God, himself yeah. into, into that role. Like, I, if I hadn't have known beforehand, I wouldn't have known it was him. Like, I didn't know it was Colin Farrell until you'd said that last yeah. week. Like, he, I'd obviously seen the trailer good. and stuff, and I didn't know he was in it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah I just didn't, I hadn't looked into it that much. And then, yeah. like I say, obviously going in, I was the same as you. I knew that because you yeah. told us, and I was just like, holy fuck. Yeah. Like, it's, it's, it's so just good. Um, just the nightclub amazing. scene and everything when he's like, he's like holding them up and trying to get information out of him and stuff, and he's like oh, playing yeah. dumb and that. I like, just superb. And then, yeah, man. just, just like I say, the, the whole car chase scene. Yeah, Colin Farrell was brilliant in it. Like when he, when he thinks he's yeah. killed him, when he thinks he's died, and he's like laughing. He's like, "I've got you, <laughs> you yeah. or yeah. something." Calls him a maniac or something. Yeah, that's like, it, yeah. It's just like that. That was brilliant. And then like I'm being like tied up at the end, left to waddle, the, the kid, and he's waddling away because <laughs> yeah. the penguin as well. Yeah, so well, it's well, like it, yeah. it works on many levels. Like that's, I, I just... that scene. Like, I mean, it's in the trailer, isn't it? That scene where penguins yeah. upside down in the car and he's just walking towards them. The capes flowing, and there's fire. Yeah, just epic, man. It was so yeah. wonderfully shot. And the it music really that accompanies, accompanies it is just, it's mm-hmm. perfect. It's, for me, it is you a perfect hilarious is, movie. I, I, I went on um, my PC last night and Spotify was down, but I'd literally went on specifically to find the soundtrack. So yeah, I haven't listened I to the soundtrack that. yet. But there's, but I'm going to, I just haven't been back on yet. But because, because Spotify was down the pricks. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like there was, there was, I can't remember the song, but I think, I think it might have been a Nirvana song. 
there's like a sort uh, yeah, of something cover in the of Nirvana or something, song. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was just like, I'm just like, oh, I have to have that song. I mean, yeah, it's this like so it's good. really good, man. I've it's listened to the whole soundtrack. like soundtrack that's yeah. available on YouTube, and it it just gets you in the mood to to do Batman stuff. Do you know what I mean? I was like grabbing <laughs> yeah. around my bedroom and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, well, just I'm 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 so like obviously I'm ADHD, and it's so easy to imprint something onto us. So like, if yeah. I get excited about so so like I've watched that, and I'm like. I'm only wearing black and grey from now on. Yeah, well, never yeah, any other color. I'm actually wearing black and grey. You know, I'm like, I'm yeah. never wearing anything but dark colours for like Yeah, that's it. I'm just gonna be know, emo as I'm, I'm so now close, and... I'm so close to cutting my hair, you know what I mean? I'm just like, can I have the, the Bruce Wayne please? Yeah, can I do the Bruce <laughs> Wayne look, please? Yeah, man. Oh <laughs> you know what I mean? Amazing. I'll have the, uh, I'll have the uh, eternally unfuckable look, please. And yeah, like, that's you it. you already have that, so <laughs> Oh, well, <laughs> please leave. <laughs> right, oh, well, okay. ten pounds. Like, well, but you didn't do anything. I didn't need to. You know I mean? didn't I'm still going to charge you though, because you brought that into into me. So yeah, but yeah, I've seen a post where someone said like, "This Batman definitely is not fucked," which is like, yeah, it was like someone was like, "This Batman's definitely a virgin." And it was like because like there was said they were talking about obviously the way he reacted to being kissed and stuff like that yeah but it's also like you say because he's so focused as well it's actually mm-hmm. quite believable that he would be oh 100 like, not be would not be he doesn't care about himself from no he, he cares more about ridden the city of crime and yeah. i think yeah uh, he's not spent any time on himself other than like the training, like he was trained yeah. and Matt Reeves confirmed it. Like, yeah, it's just training from Alfred. That's, that's all he's had. So yeah. he's not like the ninja, like Rachel Ghoul and, and stuff like that. Yeah. And, and, and what have you. Um, and again, like that moment with um, Alfred where the bomb goes off. I thought he was going to kill him. Like I genuinely, yeah. was dev- I was like, oh my God, they've killed Alfred straight away. And yeah. don't get us wrong. I don't think it was bad that they didn't. But yeah. that's the type of movie they made where I believe yeah. anybody's expendable. Obviously, of course, yeah. from the, the Batman, because it's a Batman movie. Every yeah. single person's expendable. And I was like, oh, my God. And then that moment of realization where he's like, I love Alfred. He was like, I'm yeah. going to lose him. He's like, oh, my God. And then in the in the hospital, he's like, I love you. That and was he held his hand. I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. Like that's He's actually starting to become a little bit more human and realizing he, yeah. he doesn't have, like, he, he hasn't lost everything. He's still yeah. got 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 him yeah and like that led really well into the end where like he's got the flare and he's leading all the people out like to me yeah. that's where you become the batman he was no yeah. longer vengeance like it was literally mm-hmm. a baptism when he cut that wire and he goes yeah. into the water and he comes out and you he, he's still yeah. gonna beat the shit out of these these villains but <laughs> yeah he, he, but yeah it was, it was more about a more it became less about just his mission and more yeah. about giving back and giving back what and, he and could do, what he could do to support yeah. because see in the funeral scene that like you say he hasn't been using his money to mm-hmm. support you know what i mean well that's so it, yeah. i think like this was like an eye opener to him was like i could be doing so much more you know what yeah I mean? well that's it i mean i think in the next one we'll get more of that playboy yeah bruce wayne the bravado that's fake but that's the people are like it's not really bruce wayne then they don't understand the batman because yes it is the real bruce wayne is that person who is solely focused on the crime and solving the crime yeah. and the fake playboy is not the real batman he wears three masks essentially he wears the fake yeah. one he wears the batman mask and he wears the well he doesn't wear the bruce wayne because that's who he is so he wears two masks ob- objectively yeah. and i think a lot of people didn't understand that i mean i'm a massive batman fan i have been from years mm-hmm. i've read a lot of the stuff that they've done because i just love yeah. the batman but like for me as i grew up i was like the punisher is my favorite because of the type of Punisher is the type of person he is. Yeah. But I've gone back to liking the Batman more because for me, although yeah. he's not murdering people, which I'm glad, because obviously the uproar of backflag <laughs> yeah. and stuff, like he's just so badass. He, he genuinely, genuinely scared us. And I, yeah. I can't wait for the second one. But I will say, now the tease the Joker, I don't know if I want the Joker in the next Batman. Yeah. I, I, I don't. I wanted I want a fresh villain. I want somebody we haven't seen. Or I want a, a better take like um uh, Mr. Freeze. I'd love to see Mr. Freeze again and it be a more grounded version of Mr. Yeah. Freeze. I, I, I think that would that, like, that could be good. I mean, don't get us wrong, that was fucking brilliant, everything you said there. Uh, like just catching up with that because there's just like so many points that I could <clears throat> rebuttal yeah. from that. Not rebuttal. Um add to but like 
first thing I want to say is like, do you want? Do you are you sure you want a sequel? Because I felt like well, that's, that's it was it. so good. I feel like it could be a one off, and I'd be so content. Kind of like Joker. Like mm-hmm. I don't want more Joker. I no. think Joker was brilliant. I just think leave Joker as the standalone. Uh-huh. I mean, don't fuck around. And personally, spoil it. I, I would be fine if they didn't make another one. I would be like, yeah, yeah that's it. That that's because that's all. They I'm like, because they've made because the I feel like now it. or when they announce the second. Because don't get us wrong, I do think they'll make oh, a second they one. I really do. One hundred percent. Like I feel like the second they announce it, I'm just gonna be like worried. Yeah, because I just feel like how it's do you like, capture like, that can magic you, again? Yeah. yeah, I'm like, can you hit that again? And it's yeah. like, what are the odds really you're gonna yeah. hit that again? Oh, well, yeah, of course. Because I mean, I that's the that's that. It's the Dark Knight effect. Like Dark Knight could not like Dark well, right, Knight Rises didn't have a chance after Dark Knight. It just no. didn't. It was too no matter much what they did. Yeah. It was just too much to live up to. And I feel yeah. like that's what they've, they've done again. Um, well, and on I agree, the first one, yeah. And I agree with you with like the Joker, like yeah, it's there's so many more interesting stories to tell with Batman, and it's a bit like you know, like old Spider-Man films, like where they were just like the stop start nature of Spider-Man's, where they'd like start one and like yeah, give up halfway through and start a new Spider-Man. It's a bit like that. I feel like you get a lot of that with Batman and Superman, where they restart and because of the, the restart, they cover the yeah. same shit all yeah. the time. Yeah, and yeah, there's just so much more that they could be bringing and. I agree. But, I agree. But it, it also it, it also is like, you know, there's so many versions of Joker that you could have. So they, they could still tell an absolutely fantastic Joker story. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just for me, it's just like we've had so many iterations of Joker and they've all been different. But I don't know. I just, the Joker has like menace in um, The Dark Knight. And then before that, he was silly. Do you know what I mean? And then we got whatever Jared Leto's Joker was, Crime Boss yeah. Joker. Um, and like I, I, I want him to be scary, and I want him to be mysterious, like the Riddler. But then, are they just doing the same story again? Do you know what I yeah. mean? So, if I had a choice, I would say, yeah, probably just leave it. I mean, I trust Matt Reeves because he's a great director. The films he's made that I've seen all have been really yeah. good. Uh, but yeah, I mean, as a standalone Batman film, I think it's fantastic. I genuinely yeah. want to watch it again. I can't do, you know, wait. do you know what I really thought of at the end as well was? Um... Because obviously the city's like mostly flooded, you know what I mean? Like yeah. half the city's flooded, and like you know, it, it, they were like alluding to like um like that the criminals were like gonna start overtaking the city. Yeah. So they were kind of like you know like an Arkham game where it's like I, I, the criminals are really running wild, like the city's locked off kind of thing. Yeah. So it's just like and like obviously you see like penguin and his tower and stuff like that. It's kind of like well the city's free for the taking, and there's gonna be lots of looting and stuff, and uh-huh. like half the city's submerged. <laughs> All I thought was this would make such a fucking good Arkham game, yeah. Because it's one, it's such a much much more interesting take on the city now because it's the way you'd have to maneuver around the city. You couldn't use the Batmobile in in all aspects. Like that was one of the things I thought was weird was how much how submerged the city was. But then Catwoman was like, "Right, I'm off on my motorbike," and I'm like, "Where? Yeah." <laughs> like, I, I thought everything submerged. You yeah, know what like I mean? how are you getting out? Yeah, yeah like how are you like how are you just going to drive and leave the city? No problem, because if that's yeah. the case, would there wouldn't be people stranded? Would there? There would just well, be. Yeah. <laughs> but I suppose it's like some parts of the city. But I just thought it'd be such a fucking good video game. Like, Definitely. Yeah. Like the, there's that upcoming um, Gothic Gotham Knights game, isn't there? Um, yeah. Which was announced like two years ago. I've got zero um, hype for it. Like, I'm really, but, um, I'm not excited. But it's weird because it was so. It's it's so coincidental that I decided I was going to see Batman. Um, like what two days ago or whatever, and I was like, book the tickets. And then I, I thought of Gotham Knights. I was like, oh, I haven't watched that gameplay trailer in ages. It's like class. I'll give it a watch again. So I just watched the trailer because I just like I think it's a really impressive trailer. Yeah. Like, it's it's shockingly low frame rate. It's like thirty frames a second, which annoyed us. But in in four K, it's beautiful or whatever. And just like I would love, obviously, a core Batman game, even though you're not playing as Batman. Obviously, you're playing as the Bat Family and stuff. Yeah. But um, like I watched the trailer, I was like, cool. And then the next day, I forgot to mention it in gaming news actually. But the next day, there's like rumors um that the a play test has been leaked. So like somebody has been on Steam, and they must be friends with like a developer or something, and they've seen a developer playing the game. Uh huh. So they're, they're like saying the fact that it's in play test testing must mean it's like not that far away. Yeah. Because that was meant to come out last year, I think. I think it was, yeah. Um, I mean, 
I'll play it, but it's not like an Arkham game where I'll be like, well, day one, I'm going to get that, because it, 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 it's like more RPG, and do you know what I mean? Like, there's going to be yeah. bad guys that you've got to hit a thousand times, yeah. yeah, and I just, it, that just does not appeal to me. Yeah, but I don't I, like level game, like. But yeah, the Batman overall is 10 out of 10 for me. Like, it's the perfect Same. Batman. It's, it's what I needed, and I'm glad I got it. And I, I, I would pay to see it in the cinemas again easily. I do think the last thing we should quickly cover on is, because we didn't cover it enough, is yeah. just Paul Damo's performance and the oh, monologue God, in yeah. the prison was just fucking superb. Yeah. Like, he, he was one of those ones where I, I remember um, when like it came out that he was the Riddler. Like, I think my girlfriend was like, I don't want to know who the Riddler is. And I was like, that's not a reveal, really. Like, yeah, who it's he, not. Yeah. Who is. But then when I obviously found out who it was, I was like, oh, I'm not sure mm-hmm. that was going to be... Like, I wasn't, like, blown away. Yeah. But then but then she made a good point where she was like, well, do you not remember him in Prisoners? Um, yeah. With what's his name? Uh, the guy who plays Logan. Name's escaping us. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hugh Jackman. <laughs> Hugh Jackman, yeah. Hugh Jackman. She's like, do you not remember him in Prisoners? Um and I was just like, oh, yeah, that was fucking, he was superb. And that, yeah, yeah, it was really and good, I feel, yeah. like I feel like we got such a good fucking performance from him, like, which is just, that whole scene as well was like, like you were saying about him being the Batman when he's the Batman. It's like he said, he actually says to him, he's like, well, you're wearing the mask, but that's the real you, isn't it? Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I felt like I could be the real me, unashamed, like, when I had the mask on sort of thing. Yeah. Which I just, I thought, I thought it was just, like, Amazing, and I yeah. just like feel like we'll, we'll gloss over that. I think we'll, we'll, we'll put I don't know Colin Farrell because deservedly so. Like, I think that might be possibly the past 10 year career performance for fucking oh, yeah, Colin, for Colin Farrell, Farrell, you know what I mean? Like, just, yeah, like amazing. Um, but yeah, same, just just superb, perfect yeah, casting man. for the red line. 100%. Just, I, I love that it was like I say, it was almost like a crime thriller. It was, yeah. You know what I mean? It was it almost was. like a it was almost, almost a who'd done it, you know what I mean? Yeah, one hundred percent. It's the best loved, like, Batman the, whole, detective the, the, red, story. the riddles and the like the traps that he was putting people in and stuff. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I, I agree. I think he did fantastic. And I mean he, he's the reason behind it and the type of person he was, like he was an internet truth warrior that just yeah. went too far. Like he, he, I feel like yeah, sorry. Yes, we're saying that. Um, you went too far, like, because you get people online who are like, "This is a it's conspiracy," and they talk about, it and they've got like a following and stuff, like flat oh, earthers God, and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. He's like that. He's like a flat earther, but like he's willing to kill to to get mm-hmm. his point across. And like, obviously, those people did him wrong, and I understand all that. And, and that's yeah. fine. But it, it made him a more believable villain because he had this like group, and it was only like five hundred people. But it just yeah, goes to show, it just showed you, yeah, that those five hundred can be people, done with what few, can be yeah. done with, 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 with because like people say, oh, "I've got a YouTube channel." 500 subscribers like oh it's just 500 subscribers but if it was a youtube channel in regards to like inciting violence you know what i mean that's 500 yeah. people yeah you could home. gather those yeah. 500 people in any exactly. place well that's it yeah they enact yeah. whatever like it's yeah. which is what he managed to do it was just like yeah yeah 100 percent. i Absolutely think it was superb. really good yeah but Brilliant. what i was going to say was um like i almost think that even if you weren't a fan of batman but you loved crime thrillers you would you still get quite this. a lot. Out. Yeah. I think you'd get a lot out of this film, even mm-hmm. as a non-Batman fan. Yeah, oh, and I agree. with and with this Batman being so much like the only bit, like, like I said previously, like him being it's so based in reality. The only bit where I was like, that's kind of silly, was in the car chase when the ramp dropped at the exact moment that he needed to drive yeah. the ramp. Yeah. yeah, outside of that one thing, there was not really anything where I was like, this is insanely over the top. Like, don't get us wrong. I'll agree that there's points where you go, all oh, right, he probably wouldn't have done this. He probably wouldn't yeah. have survived. Like, one guy's not really going to beat up me, you know, 50 yeah, guys but, or whatever. Yeah. But, like, but outside of the realms of, like, what you'd get in your average thriller and stuff like that, that was the only scene I'd go, that was a little bit silly. The rest was such, it's like, so based in reality. Yeah, yeah. Now, <laughs> there's one, one thing I want to touch on before we we'll move on to the best Batman film ever. Um... Do you know the one the... last last thing yeah the one last last thing <laughs> do you know it's just such a good film like things come it back is. to us do you know at the start where he beats up all them goons and then yeah. there's that one kid in the half face paint yeah and he runs off terrified yeah. is that the same person at the end do you know when he beats him after he's like used the port thing it's, it's like a venom or it's adrenaline or something and then he beats that person up and then he pulls the mask off and he says hey, why are you he says, i'm vengeance is that the same person because if it is that's I don't know, really I... good man I don't know who that was. Like yeah. I didn't get, I didn't understand who I'm that gonna, was. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go back and watch it again because yeah. like because this the kid was really scared at the start. Yeah. But obviously, if it is the same person, he's been brainwashed by the Riddler and he's willing to take up arms and fight. Whereas yeah. at the start, he was terrified of doing that. Yeah. So if it is the same person, because obviously I haven't been able to talk to anybody because nobody's 
like seen it yet yeah. apart from you now. <laughs> yeah. Like if it is that, I think that's genius. I really do. Yeah, that, I never yeah, thought. That's, yeah, that's I didn't know who that was. Like I remember I'm like pulling the mask off, and he was looking. He's like, "I'm I'm Vengeance." And I'm like, "Who is that?" And I'm looking at him and going, "Who is that?" Yeah, <laughs> and I just mm-hmm. didn't. I didn't figure that out. But yeah, but yeah that would that would have been that would have been such like long term storytelling. Yeah, it would have been amazing. Yeah. Amazing. But yeah, fantastic Batman film. 